In this video, we're going to talk about spanning trees. Now, all graphs have at least one subgraph that is a tree. So what are we talking about when we say subgraph? Well, down below, I have three graphs, and we're going to refer to these as the original graphs. And inside of these graphs, we're going to draw a subgraph. A subgraph is basically a graph inside of another graph. So our subgraphs are going to be drawn in red. Okay, so we'll start with one. So if I start at H, connect it to G, connect this to F, and connect this one to E and D, this red graph is a subgraph of the original black graph that I had. Now this particular subgraph is a tree because it has no loops, no multiple edges, and no cycles. So let's do another one. Let's do one in the second graph. We'll connect D to F to E, connect this to A, connect F to G, and then connect A to B. Once again, I have a subgraph in red that is a tree. It has no cycles, no loops, and no multiple edges. Now, moving on to the third one, we are now going to draw what is called a spanning tree. And a spanning tree is exactly the same as the other two that I've drawn, except it has to pass through every single vertex. That's the only difference. So we need to connect H to G. We'll connect this to F, to D, to E, to C, to A, and we'll connect A to B. You'll notice that every vertex is connected. There are no loops, there are no cycles, and there are no multiple edges. Anyway, that concludes our video on spanning trees. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooks that relate to this video.